My name is Jason Potterica, and I'm a fine art photographer. I feel really blessed to have worked in the field of photography for the last eight years. It's my passion. It's my life. It's what I really love to do. Being able to share my perspective on the world with other people is something that I feel is a real gift. Being able to go out and capture different landscapes, different still lifes, and be able to share those ideas in a visual way with people is something that I feel I'm really fortunate to be able to do. Ever since I picked up a camera when I was 16 and feeling that weight in my hands that having a tool to change perspectives on how people see the world is really, really special. I remember taking my first photographs in black and white and how the world, the world just changed. It was a different place. And I felt that growing up as a kid with attention deficit disorder, the world really was a different place. I lived a lot of the time in my imagination. I lived a lot of time in daydreams inside of myself. And the camera really gave me a window to be able to show other people, you know, what I saw in my dreams and in my imagination. Something that I've been working on for the last eight years has been really crafting tone and color and trying to put the mood back inside of the photograph. So when you look at it, it looks alive. It looks like you're there. The color pops. The mood strikes you. And I feel that I've done this over the last eight years and I've really been working towards this point, which is the Journey series. And I feel in this series, I'm using all the things that I've learned to this date. Um, but I'm taking it down to the macro level, to a miniature scale. So instead of shooting the wide open landscapes that I would normally shoot, now I'm shooting a miniature diorama that I built. And I really feel that the Journey series will take my photography to the next level. Well, Journeys is a photographic series about a character who lives inside a world of words. And I really want to photograph it from his perspective as he travels through all these different fantastical landscapes and explore what it was like to live inside of a book. The character could be anyone. I use a silhouette so that anyone and everyone can put themselves into the photograph and maybe feel what that character is feeling at that stage of the story. I'm trying to get people to really open up their imaginations. I think as adults sometimes we lose part of that and as kids I think they see things differently than we do from a different perspective and that gives them that um, that imagination, that real sense of, of wonder and uh, the fantastical that we sort of lose as adults. So I really want to take a series of photographs from the view of an adult traveling through this world so that we could put ourselves in that world. So maybe we could open up our imaginations a little bit more as well. Well, I've been working on the Journey series for the better part of five years. Um, I started in 2007. I was at an antique store where I found some really old, worn books. They had this great, unique look to them, and I knew that I wanted to use them in a photography project at some point. And I was photographing some macro shots of an orchid at the time, and I remember I had these books sitting there. And I also had this uh, figurine that I had since I was a kid. It was from a train model that my dad had from the 70s. Just a really, really small figure. And I ended up laying out these books end over end and opening them up. And when I went down to focus in on them, all the words just sort of blended down into this beautiful bokeh we call it in photography, the way the background sort of blurs. It looked amazing. So I took the character and put them on the page. And that's how Journeys was born. So the amount of time it takes to complete a Journey series photograph really depends on how involved that particular photograph is. Some of the photographs take 10 minutes to set up and some of them take three hours. It really depends on what I'm trying to do with the piece. With something like the city photograph where I'm constructing all of those buildings from scratch, doing all the painting, and then setting up all the lights in the scene as well as the figure, you might be looking in the neighborhood of four hours to have that scene set up and ready to photograph. And then after the photograph is taken, sometimes there'll be some post work where I'll go in and change the color or the tone if I'm trying to get a certain mood or a feeling from the photograph. So for a completed piece in the Journey series, you might be looking between 20 minutes to up to seven hours. I 
really want the viewer to be able to dive into those photographs as if they were there, as if they were on that book overlooking that vista, or being in the scene where the colors are really saturated and dark, and, and there's that bird character who I've named the Guardian that's sort of coming up over your shoulder, and maybe get a sense of what that fear is like, or that exalted feeling when the arrival photograph is unveiled. And the colors are there and they're shooting through orange and blue and it really gives you that sense of warmth that you've arrived somewhere important. With this series I'm really hoping people get just as much enjoyment out of it as I had making it. I've loved every minute of it and I can't wait to share it with everyone. Thanks for watching.